What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off what happened last time, we captured an imprisoned island of Cuba. It is now ours. With all of its bountiful goodies. I think... Yes, so you can see here where the, the icons are greyed out. That means that, you know, production of resources out, outstrips... Um, the capacity of the ports to explore them, so we'll be turning this port into a trading port because I think yeah food shortage is going to go away I'll upgrade this fort which is well holy hell it's not even a tier 3 fort tier 3 farm sorry so yeah plenty of upgrades there and roads roads too that's quite good and then so Mexico's not Mexico's food shortage is going to, is going to become a bit of a, is a bit of a pain in the backside because it keeps hampering my growth I want Villa Hermosa to grow so I can turn it into a happiness building to offset the uh, research bonuses. To offset the um, clamour for reform, sorry. So what I might do... Does Santo Domingo... Yes, they do. Sweet. So, I want to just demolish this dockyard and turn it into a fishing port to support um, population growth. Then I can use this port here in Santo Domingo as my... Um, naval warship building place. Um, but in other news, it's part of overall campaign stuff. I've um, come to the conclusion that I can't really. Well, it will be very difficult for me to compete late game if I don't, if I can't build more than fourth rates, um, particularly against the United States, who I will become, who I will be at war with, um, at some point, just because I will be. Um, they will be expanding westward, and they'll eventually declare war on me because I'm, I'm expanding in their territory. Um, so as part of that, I do want to get some useful naval attacks on the go to try and offset that. And there's only so much I can do from... There's only so much I can do from... Let's just try to steal that, I suppose. And there's only so much I can do from, from uh, stealing and trading... Speaking of, actually, let's see if I can get... No. Yeah, yeah. some of you guys have recommended before that I use um, money, and I just realised I have no money right now to spend, but how much will I get? 17,000 next turn. It's a lot of money. Cool. Um, sorry, I went on a big tangent. So the naval question, what do I do? I need access to a naval board... Um, to upgrade, and the only other places, the only places I can get one, is Philadelphia. In the Americas, I think it is just Philadelphia, and I don't really want to do that. Land right in the lion's den, surrounded by enemy territory. Don't think so. I think the best idea is to turn um, eastwards, across the Atlantic, and look at Madrid, because Madrid has a naval board, and it's the Spanish headquarters, and. It looks like it's the only Spanish territory left in the game. So if I captured Madrid, Spain's out, and all their territories in the Americas become pirates. Which might be good for the Americas to land here, but I'd like to land and nab um, Florida. Um, but I like, yeah, so if I can take out Madrid, that'd get me a naval board and it'd knock Spain out of the game. But a more tempting target, I think, in the intermediate stages is Lisbon. Because Lisbon is not fortified, it has a naval board, and Portugal, I think, is just allied with Spain. <laughs> they're on their boss side, Pedro IV. Um, they're just allied with Spain, they're not allied with with um, Britain and the United Provinces and Prussia and all that sort of annoying stuff, so I think that's my best option, guys. But I do need to be careful of their navy the navy zones of control I think so who's operating in this area Savoy, Genoa, Spain obviously Morocco, okay so what I want to do is I want to get this army reinforce it send it over to Santo Domingo capture it reinforce it send it over to Florida and then they kind of wait there to see what happens with the, Amer with the Americans um, raise another force up here in Caracas to kind of hedge their bets against um, 
Trinidad and Tobago, because that's quite a big stack. True, there's no artillery. So it could be quite a bloodbath for me. No, for them, sorry. Um, and then take this army up here in Texas, because it's got the proper fort-busting artillery. Ship them across the Atlantic. And... Invade Lisbon. So let's... Okay, you're a bit grumpy. So if I exempt you from tax... Good. Let's get you down to Tampico. Let's get you a good navy, but not an excessive navy. Do I want Eladio? I want you, because you're not quite as critical. Mm, I try. I think you have enough. You have enough. Uh, you're scary enough that things things won't jump on you as you transport. Cool. Or do I send a Ladio? No, I don't. Or do I buff buff them up with some fourth rates in case I get into trouble? I mean, I do definitely plan to land where the pressure, where the um, Portuguese aren't. That's not a problem. But I wouldn't mind having a bit of an overmatch if I do get into a scrap. So that's what I might do, actually. I might take some of... Not you. So yeah, take some of Eladio's fleet and group them up with this fleet to give them a bit of backup. I think that might be a good idea. Anyway, um, I've jabbered on far too long. Let's hit end turn. No. <laughs> they still like to try it. They still like to try it. Yeah, I, th I think... I think that's the best option, but if I took the Iberian Peninsula, it wouldn't be to use it at this point as a springboard for European uh, for European expansion. Instead, it would be more about I'd be I'd fortify it effectively to defend myself from expansionism from other European players and. Yeah, it would effectively be my own little Mexican, the Mexican Peninsula. Maybe open up, I don't know if I can open up new trade routes, I don't know if it can. Um, but yeah, be there to provide a bit of support for my allies in the Europe. And I mean, towards the end game, or mid game, I might start expanding into Europe, like North, and Af North Africa, take Iceland and things like that. But... Um, I think it'd be more fun if I concentrated my efforts in the Americas fighting against the United States. I think that'd be the most, the more fun thing to do for this campaign. But for the sake of the longevity of this campaign, I need more naval tax. And also, by taking Lisbon and Madrid, it gets me, ooh, it gets me schools, universities, so that I can knock down the one in, well, no, I want the one in Mexico. Because the Mexico... You can only build the top tier universities in your home territory. There is land suitable for plantations in this region. Ottomans. Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire. There you are. Trade. Twelve grand and an alliance. Don't think so. How about three thousand? Good. Yeah, EOS is unfriendly. Also, because I don't. <laughs> Religious differences, territorial expansion, acts of expansion. Yeah, that's fair enough. Don't want to trade with Portugal. Let's offer Savoy two grand. No, I'm not giving you that amount of money for, to trade. Primary focus, Cuba. That's repaired. Let's build new roads. Let's upgrade this port. And then what's trading higher? Tobacco's at 21, sugar's at 14. 40 loaves of sugar versus 60 barrels. Okay, so I produce a lot more tobacco, and tobacco is currently worth more. So I think that's my focus there. While also reinforcing this. And if I move you out of Cuba. The people don't massively revolt. So let's ship you over to Santiago de Cuba. Ready to be shipped over to Santo Domingo. Okay, let's get you. 
over a bit more, but you'll be met by four fourth rates of Eladio's fleet. So that'll be seven seven fourths. I'll just meet up with them now then. Seven fourths and the fourth rate. <laughs> the Admiral's on a fourth rate and a bunch of fifths. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's get you into poor, ready, ready to be picked up. Oh, failed steel tech. Right, I'm going to knock that on the head. Um, all they seem to be doing is, is just making them not like me very much. So he's going to begin the slow walk back to back to my territory. And let's see what armies they've got. Curaciers? Curaciers in the United States Army? Pa! Lots of native irregulars though. Mercenaries and long riflemen. Yeesh. It's not good for me. Right, 537. Pretty sure I can't do anything else. 17 grand next turn. Excellent. Oh, yeah, that navy's recovered. Nice one, America. Uh oh. Oh, good. They sank the Portuguese ship. Sweet. So I'll get my. Yeah, get that Navy fleet into port, repair for a turn, ship them over to Europe, ship my Cuban force over to Santo Domingo, demolish the dockyard in Mexico, replace it with a fishing port. Then I can use the shipyard in Santo Domingo for my military needs, at least for now. Um, Caracas also gets two dockyards, so if I needed another naval yard, I'll build one there. Of course, yeah, just seeing France reminded me that by capturing Lisbon and then Madrid, I will eventually be putting myself um, directly on a path to war with France, having opened up a land border, and they probably... Well, I don't know. They won't like me because of my expansion, but they'll like my government type. No, they won't. They'll hate my government type because they're a republic. Well, they could be on doing a bit of a defensive war against France in Spain. And they would be defensive. I wouldn't try and go offensive. Damn, that could be a there complication. Is a in this that not yet be <laughs> it shows how much they can't move because of the lack of ports. So if you produce 40 loaves of sugar a turn... Hmm... Good amount of money, but is it as much as? No, it's not as much as that. So I, you will that will be developed instead with tenanted farms. Do that as well, and upgrade the port, and build a galleon. Because it is, it is Cuba after all. It's a bit of eh, do I want a galleon? Or should we just want a quick sloop? Sloop to hop across the water to take Santo Domingo. I think that might be the order of the day. In terms of wealth elsewhere, get you into port, do some repairs, one turn ought to do it, and then let's embark the army. Sweet, they'll repair for a turn. Well, let's give you a Weaver's College, why not? Yeah, I'll let them. Okay, okay. so what I'm going hmm. so to do is keep them. Get them. No, <laughs> I was going to tax them, but the uh, unhappiness goes down by quite a lot. What happens if I give you a unit of militia? The sixth can join my European naval expedition as well to add a bit of combat mass of one not such not very good ship, but a ship nonetheless. Okay, that's money spent. 
it will be these radiuses of action I need to be careful of. So by the looks of it, I'll be landing down here. Because right now, if I landed, like if I like, so if I declare war on Portugal, and I moved here and declared war, if I tried to land my ship, that would count as a naval movement that could be intercepted from their area of effect. And this covers up their border as well. Unless I landed at the Spanish border and ran down, but I didn't see the point. I might as well just land like down here and then run through Portuguese territory straight at it. But yeah, I'd like to capture the, opponents, the peninsula and just fortify it. Um, operate some naval squadrons out of Cartagena to intercept anyone moving up the, uh, out of the med that I don't like. Maybe some squadrons here to kind of interfere with shipping of people I don't like. But yeah, mostly just stop the French from pillaging my troops, pillaging my land. So maybe build a fort here by the bridge. Maybe a fort here as well. Just to be a bit of a bottleneck. Let them raid these towns, that's fine. As long as they just stay away from the bulk of my region, from my city. So, Classic University, which is good. Classic University, which is also good. Cool, my texts are ongoing. My gentleman strolls on. Please don't be attacking me. No, you're raiding British shipping. Good. Keep Britain and America at each other's throats. That makes it easier for me. Crimean carne being sneaky sneaks. But I think I could well be at war with France. But... If that's what i got to do, that's what i got to do. I can't just take Lisbon and not take Madrid. Because if I try to ask for peace, they'll ask for territory in the Americas and I won't give it to them. And they'll attack Portugal anyway, so I may as well attack them back. It's just a bit of a mess. See, they're covering the coast quite effectively. But this is why I'm sailing with a proper navy, in case I get it wrong. Mamelukes in the per there is unused land suitable. Hmm, they got a new town developing. May as well just put down upgrades. Oh, so where's my... So you're already being upgraded. Eh, may as well just spend money on ports, I suppose. No, oh, no, not money on ports. Sorry. Money goes into the Cuban road building program. And Cuban ports. <laughs> there you go. Cuban's income is skyrocketing already. Relatively. Okay, let's get you into port. Hop you over onto your boats. Yep. Straight into their port. Disembark the army. And the army's going to march straight into Santo Domingo. Not straight in, surprisingly. I'm going to actually going to have a battle. And you know what? I'm going to fight it, because I've not had a battle in a while. So let's do this. Well, that's jokingly. Let's see if they surrender. Yeah. I gave them the noble effort. Okay, but that is... Step onto my... They have one artillery piece that's going to be shot to bits by all mine when they load in, no doubt. It's not great territory. Annoyingly, that's probably the better place for my artillery. Deploy my infantry. It's 
my left, that's my right flank. So then my left flank is going to be a bit weaker and not fully deployed. My frontiers on the left. My hussars on the right. In the trees. General in the centre. Hearts is deployed, raid rock and roll. Really, my his my oh god, I'm at the edge of the battle. I measured the battlefield rather. Well, new turn for it, off, and you go into reserve. Could the arm move? Well, there you go. So apparently, I've been told that uh, by someone a while ago in the comments, very, 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 very nicely, that in when it comes to howitzers, they only gain experience from fire, or maybe all artillery, but the specific, specific comment was howitzers, and they don't gain experience any other way than firing round shot. So while you can absolutely massacre people with quick climb, you don't actually get the chevrons up until you f until you get the kills with um, quick climb. No, with round shot, sorry. And I was going to use them as a reserve, but there are people out here on the right flank that want to cause trouble. So everyone is going to nail it down here as fast as they can. Because they're a while away. Buccaneers. Oh, that was a devastating shot. Fortunately, my guys all have fire by rank, so they will chew them up. Grenadiers, eh? Focus fire, that unit of grenadiers, howitzers. Everyone else is more or less militia, and I don't really care. See what how it says do anything. Fired short, short. Just two lines isn't short. Everyone fire at these guys because they you'd hit them dumb down their lines. If you get a kill, it should be, in theory, more devastating. Absolutely murderous. Look at all that, that last volley. Great, lots of people are getting back up. But lots of them aren't. Okay, let's speed this up a minute. Okay, let's, so what I'm going to do is take these, uh, these guns, halt and fire at will again. Speed up time a bit. So I've got to let let them reform their line. Holy moly. It's a lot of corpses. B 
yes, yeah, so I just need to let them form their line. Which could take a while. <laughs> but I don't want to move up because I've got the artillery advantage. So just let them do what they're going to do. Still firing, firing at the unit of grenadiers, even though I can't see them anymore. Artillery's focus firing on one unit of buccaneers. Okay, that unit. Of, okay, my right flank is looking a bit weak. Okay, they're not going to actually move, so. Do not wish to seek battle, then battle shall seek you. Opening fire on my lines. Sure, they get the initial volleys off. That's fine. But, then, but soon my fire rank, my fire by rank, will be superior. I keep my cavalry out of it for now. Oh, that was a bit of a weird jump. Bit of a patriot esque vibe to this battle. form back into line, allow them to route, doesn't matter if they do or don't. God, point blank fire into our unit of militia. Poor swines. How's it going up here? As predicted. Mm -hmm. He's been toggled far in advance. Fusiliers far in advance. Just, just keep going. this drill. First bit of fire in advance. Then up the first rank goes. Ah. Hit the buccaneers again. Run this unit of militia around to support this fight because they could be them with bayonets. I 
Ultimately charged with bayonets. Halt the fire, halt all my artillery now. Um, I think that's all of them routed. Oh, except for this one unit of colonial militia. Let's line up my fusiliers. Let's tear down some Spanish nobleman from his saddle. I'm gonna let my Fusileros have the privilege of this one. No, keep doing fire in advance, actually. If, if you're actually gonna do it. There you go, next rank. So the third rank runs up. The rearmost. Oh, okay. It does all ranks. It's not just three ranks deep max. Interesting. But that's it. Quite a simple. Well, exclusively infantry, actually, except for the general that single unit. There you go, Santa Domingo. Belongs to the Mexican Empire. As expected, it's undeveloped to hell. And some roads. I can't fix that port, but what I can do is preparatory demolish this dockyard and, gr and expand this this shipyard up into an actual dockyard cool cool that's gone rather well and looking at the timer i think it's the end of this part so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time